Hi, I'm Dale Mathis, and welcome to Lesson 5 of Dale Mathis' Slow and Easy Accordion class. Uh, so today is the first time that we are going to have a song where we're playing in 3-4 time. Um, other accordion methods bring in the 3-4 time or the bass chord chord rhythm like almost from the beginning, but uh, I chose to do it a little later and uh, I don't think it really makes a whole lot of difference, but uh, today we're going to learn some waltz time. So, a couple of new things. Um, first of all, let me get close here and hold the accordion up. There we go. So, that three-quarter time on the C bass and then the F bass is right below that. Let me readjust this camera. Get a little better angle for you. There, that's that looks better. So the the C bass, the F bass is right below. Back to the C bass, and the G bass is above. So those three chords for both songs that we are going to play today. You'll need to work on that. And then, let me just bring this back up. There we go. So, um, one other new thing that we are going to have today in the song called Blue Jay Waltz, um, we are going to have a B flat. And that B flat is the black key here. So, just so that you know where it is, and uh, I'm going to be doing a close-up video of both of these songs in two tempos uh, a little later in the video. So have fun with Lesson 5. And remember, mycrownmusic.net is where the sheet music is for both of these songs. So thanks, thanks for watching. And also, um, I've been getting uh, several nice emails and actually got a physical letter from one person uh, following the lesson plan and uh, it's been very gratifying uh, to hear your comments, so thank you for sending those. All right, so um, we'll be doing a computer close-up next. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to start off with the Blue Jay Waltz. And in this tune, uh, just some things to look at here. Uh, first of all, let's get this arrow thing on. That would be better. Um, this is the bass chord pattern, so it's C bass, C bass, C bass, C bass, and then in this measure it changes to G bass, and it's just for two measures, and then it goes back to C bass again. So your bass pattern is going to sound. And then change to G. And here uh, we have another new thing, tied notes. And when you have that curved line, that means for that C there and the C here, do not lift the note up. It's instead of three beats and three beats, it's actually six beats altogether. Also, try not to change bellow direction uh, between those two notes because it's going to sound like you play two different notes. Then when you get down to this next section of the song, uh, look at the fingering quite carefully because you'll see that you've got to go much higher up in the page in, in your keyboard. And to get to these notes, you're going to have to watch your fingering because you're going to have to move to different fingers to reach up way here to this B flat, which is a black key. Uh, it's the one to the right of the three black keys. So, all right, I'm going to start the player and it's set slow. The tempo is at 85 and then I'm going to join in. So here we go. Let's see, I'm just going to tentatively count one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs>
repeat. Yep. Okay, so we'll go to the next song on top of spaghetti. Okay, this is like a fun sing-along tune called On Top of Spaghetti. It's done to the melody on top of Old Smokey. And a couple of new things to point out here. First of all, we've got some pickup notes. These are notes that you're going to play before you start the chord. So the first chord here is the F chord and notice that uh, three quarter times so three beats to the measure so like this measure is a good example three quarter notes each quarter note gets one beat and in this measure <clears throat> you have a dotted half note so that dotted half note gets the entire three beats that you play for the F chord in your left hand and uh, the other thing to point out here is that we've got tied notes that get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to combine the three beats from that measure, the three beats from this measure, and the two beats from this G. And so you do not want to lift up the note during that time, and you want to try not to change the bellow direction if you can. Uh, you know, do the best you can. And then here is. Um, three beats here and two beats for this D and they're tied again so try not to lift up the note here again is another one of those with eight beats so it's three plus three plus two eight beats and we're going up here this uh, starts from the C on the ledger line and this one goes up an entire octave to the C um, eight notes higher and uh, here's another tie and here's another one of those long ties with the C chord and uh, let's see here we have the G chord um, another tie and uh, oh here's something also new now here I've got these notes all tied for the right hand but look what happened in your bass while you're holding that C you're going to change from the C bass in this measure to the F bass in this measure and then back to the C again. So during that entire time the C gets held in your right hand but your bass changes from the C bass to the F bass and back to the C. Alright, so let's see, tempo is at 86 so nice and slow and uh, let's give this a try. Thank you. 
And that's that. So, on top of spaghetti, and I put the words in there in case you want to sing along. So, have fun with this tune, and um, we'll be doing a uh, lesson um, five theory uh, in a few days. So, see you next time.